looking at is just checking on some of the main things that are really important when taking an online class. One of the first things is doing everything you're going to be doing is on Blackboard. So you must make sure you check in on a regular basis. Now, all the material you need is all on Blackboard. And just as a little awareness, I am able to check to see what everybody is doing online in Blackboard. I have access to everyone's stuff and seeing where you've been and what you've done. So please make every effort to do that. It'll be all important for you to be successful. Now, along those same lines is time management. And time management is super important with online uh, courses. Your time is your responsibility. That means everything that's expected in the course, when the journals are open and closed, when the test is assigned and when it's closed, the assignment when it's due, what we're doing each week is your responsibility. Now we don't have a class, but you need to treat this like as if you did have a class. So about three hours a week is the same thing you should be doing in your online class as you do within your in-class. So make sure you mark things down in a calendar. Make sure you have some means of keeping track of things. Okay, that's going to be very important to you um, when it comes to doing uh, an online class. Now, in addition to that is make sure you have current computer. Now, the library has computers, so you will have a means by which to do this course if you don't have a computer. Now, if you don't have a computer, that might be more challenging for you. But what I want to caution you against is trying to do an entire online class using your cell phone or tablet. The one, they're not big enough screen to dig that much time online. And two, more importantly, the app that is available for Blackboard, it's not as robust as the online um, computer-based one. The app is just not as robust. There's things you won't see and things that won't be available for you. So please, current and up-to-date working computer. Um, now also along these same lines, what's important again, and I can't stress this in more, is your textbook. Your textbook is something that you'll use as a guide. It's also the thing that you're going to use um, to highlight and make notes of because when you do your tests, if it's an online class, I can't stop you from using your text or your notes and I'm not going to try to. I've got about 500 questions in a test bank. And I'm only going to give you 50 or 55 or 60, depending upon the test. And they're going to be randomly sampled. And so you won't have an opportunity. You'll have two chances to do the test, but you'll get a different test each time. And the person sitting beside you is going to have a different test than you've had. But having your textbook is going to allow you to look at the material, gain information. So the more you've marked it up, the more you've used post-it notes, the more you've highlighted it, the more notes you've made, the easier the test will be. So the textbook becomes very important. Contacting me will be very important as well. So it's important that you know how. You'll have um, in your Blackboard how to contact Steve. That's how you can contact me using your email. Now please only use George and Carl at Gmail. Uh, the Ontario Privacy Officer doesn't allow us to respond to personal emails anymore. We're not allowed to text. So the only way we have to be in touch with one another, the primary, will be through email. Now, if you want to catch up with me, I'm here every Friday. I'm the guy wearing shorts in the wintertime. You won't find anybody else on campus doing that, so I'm not hard to find. Now, you're going to get the syllabus. This is going to be really important. This is your map. This is going to tell you what we're going to do every week. It's where all the dates that say when things are due are, when the journals are open and when they're closed, uh, when the tests are open and when they're closed. And all the dates are on the syllabus, so please download or print and make them available for yourself because it's your responsibility um, to make sure that you are available to write the tests at the time they're available. They're open for five days, so there's lots of opportunity. And that the journals are open for two weeks, so there's lots of opportunity. But I won't be reopening any of them if you miss. All right? So it's really important that you have the syllabus and keep that handy and check it regularly. In addition, the assignment. Make sure you read it carefully and read it thoroughly. You're more than, I'm more than able and willing to help you by answering questions or visiting with you on Friday to help you understand any elements of it. But please read it first before you start asking me questions. Okay? Excuse me. Now, lastly, but not least, uh, is there are no extensions. Time management is important. 
and I've had in the past lots of people asking for extensions and in some cases I gave them but I was getting complaints from students who said well I work hard and I take care of this why did they get an extension when they didn't and they weren't really sick or so we're gonna stick with the college policy the college policy is that if you're sick you need a doctor's note and I need to be able to see that um, if you have a disability I need to see the letter that comes from our disability and accessibility officer that says that extensions or time extra on tests is, is made available for you and then I will provide that for you. So those are the conditions by which extensions can be had. So please don't ask. And I'm afraid it's going to be, I, I won't be able to do it, I won't do it because it's not fair to the other students. It's time management is largely what it comes down to when I get asked for an extension. I didn't get, you know, my computer broke down, make sure you have a good computer. Make sure it's in working order. Make sure you don't leave things to the last minute. Getting an email on the day before an assignment's due saying, I'm not too sure what I'm supposed to do, but my computer's broke down. I'm sorry that it broke down, but you should have been working on it sooner. Okay? I'm not trying to be really tough and hard, but I am trying to emphasize how important it is that when you do an online class, a lot of the responsibility is on your shoulders to get things done. My responsibility to you is to ensure I put together a tidy, um, clearly outlined syllabus and assignments that I post the material in each week in a timely manner that you have access to it and I will do all of those things for you and I will respond to all your emails. I will answer them to the best of my ability. I will make myself available on Fridays. We'll do our best to get through this. I hope you enjoy the course. It is interesting, it is important, and it is one that I think you'll get some great value out of when it comes to uh, your core program. So good luck to everybody and I look forward to seeing you either in person or experiencing you online. Lastly, please remember online agreement. It's to be completed in week two. You'll find there's a journal um, uh, link for you to put your online agreement in. That needs to be done in a PDF document. If you're not familiar with how to make a PDF document, um, check in week one. You'll see how to make a PDF document video for you. It's quite straightforward. It's probably easier than you thought it was. So do your agreement up. Make sure you make note of the seven things that were expressed in this video that you just watched and add those to your journal, uh, sorry, add those to your online agreement and a little introduction about who you are and why you're taking the course and that will be very helpful. Alrighty, good luck and we'll see you in the, new, in, in the online world or perhaps I'll see you on a Friday afternoon or a Friday morning sometime. Bye now. <laughs>